Vitamin B5, pentothenic acid for your energy, hormones, and your brain. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And let's get right into this video. Vitamin B5, or pentothenic acid, is a water-soluble vitamin. It's important for energy metabolism because it is a precursor for coenzyme A. Coenzyme A is a crucial component of metabolizing your carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Basically, it helps to break down your macronutrients down to ATP or adenosine triphosphate, which is energy of the cell. So that is why it's important for energy uh, production. It's also important for hormone synthesis because it aids in the production of cortisol, a adrenal hormone. Okay? It also helps to manage cholesterol. It synthesizes cholesterol or helps in the process of it. Now, why is cholesterol mentioned with hormones? Because cholesterol is the mother hormone to all your sex hormones. We do not want to drive cholesterol down so low that you have an impact on your sex hormones. So cholesterol is very important for the synthesis of your sex hormones. If you want normal levels of testosterone and estrogen, you have to have normal levels of cholesterol. Neurotransmitter helps in the production of acetylcholine, which is really good for memory, and the production of epinephrine. Epinephrine will go to norepinephrine and then to dopamine. Now, dopamine is for that reward center, right? Um, being happy after accomplishing something. Now, sometimes you can have too much dopamine because you're always looking for that uh, thrill, right? Always on the phone, looking for a video that makes you laugh, uh, or you want a like on your video. And it creates what we call dopamine toxicity, so it's too much dopamine in our system. But dopamine is necessary and it's a crucial component of our brain balance. It's also important for immunity because it helps to produce antibodies. Okay? IgG, IgA, IgM, IgE. Now if you've done different types of food testing or allergy type testing, oftentimes they're checking for immunoglobulins or IgG, IgE, IgM, etc. Okay, so you need proper levels to enhance infection resistance. You don't want to get sick all the time. You need proper antibodies in there. Now, it can also be helpful for wound healing. There's a topical formula. It's called dexpanthenol, and you can use it as a topical to improve wound healing. Now, when you look at the RDI, or recommended daily intake, it ranges from 1.7 for infants all the way up to 7 milligrams for lactating females. Okay? So if you're breastfeeding, you want to have higher levels. However, most supplement companies, when you look at their formulation, it's anywhere from 300 to 500 milligrams per tablet. So you can take much higher doses than what is recommended. There are two forms, calcium d pantothenate and pantothenine, which is a derivative of pantothenic acid. This one's really good for lipid management. Again, triglyceride, cholesterol, etc. But both are pretty good products or forms. If you have low energy, you might want to consider B5. Okay? If you have premature graying, for me it's too late, right? But if you're in your 20s and you start to see premature graying, you can utilize B5 to halt it. It may not reverse it and completely change it, but it certainly will help slow down the process of premature graying. It's also important for stress management, neuropathy, and mood. Again, the mood aspect is the balance of neurotransmitters and helps to lift brain fog. In studies, they've shown it to be helpful in acne at higher doses. The studies show 2.2 grams per day, which is much higher than even the supplements uh, that are recommended, but it can be helpful for acne. Usually there's no real major side effects to taking high doses of B5 because it's a water-soluble vitamin, 
Maybe you might have some gastric distress or something like that. Foods high in B5. Beef, chicken, organ meats, eggs, dairy, basically animal products. You can have it in whole grains, legumes, avocados, and sweet potatoes. So if you want to use B vitamins, you definitely want to use other B vitamins. If you want to use B5, you want to use other B vitamins so it can work synergistically and help each other and improve function. B6, 12, and 7 have been known to help with the B5 metabolism or utilization of B5, but there are others, obviously. What I'll do is I'll link individual videos in the description below regarding B1, B2, B3, B12, B9, etc. So I'll link those videos in the description below. All right, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence needs excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.